Hey, what's going on, YouTube family? Rome here. Just thought I'd give you guys a quick rant. I wanted to talk today about um, bringing your friends to martial arts or, you know, bringing them to the mats for the first time. You already know it's uh, one of the, <laughs> it's one of jujitsu players' uh, favorite things to do is bring one of your unsuspecting friends to mats for the first time, getting them on the mats, showing them the power of jujitsu, showing them the leverage, the control. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of benefits to bringing your friends on the mats. Actually, in this video here, this blue belt is a very good friend of mine. He's basically my brother. You know, we came up together, known this man for over 20 years easily. And, you know, it's just one of those things where um, I've brought a lot of friends to jujitsu and not many of them have stayed. I'm sure we all, especially, you know, if you're a higher belt, you guys have probably at this point brought at least a few friends to jujitsu. And I guess my question to you is how many of those friends actually stayed and, you know, continued the journey with you? Um, I think that it's, it's, it's cool bringing your friends in for the ones that do end up staying and it does resonate with them and it attaches to their lifestyle. I feel like, you know, it's rewarding it's rewarding seeing their growth it's rewarding you know because you basically seen them come from nothing and it's it's very difficult but you know jujitsu is one of those things where it can easily become overwhelming for most people oh sorry that's uh that's my phone going off in the background but um yeah i think um you know it's good because the um the bonds that you can form between the friends that you have that you already have you 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 know i feel like you can get to know these people even better you get to know each other better you get to know them at least for men i don't know how it is maybe with the ladies it's different but like you know i just remember it it you know it gives you that feeling of like when you you know you might have had a fight in the schoolyard and you know the whole thing of like you know you used to fight in the schoolyard when you were kids and then you ended up becoming best friends it's kind of one of those situations although you already started best friends and you just know them a little better now but um you know it's a good thing because i feel like they hold you accountable i feel like um you know it's 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 easy to get kind of demotivated a lot of times and it's always good having those friends that are kind of like hey what are you doing this weekend get on the mat stop being a lazy fuck you know what i mean so yeah, it's just, um, you can build strong bonds. You also have somebody that you can trust. You know, if, um, you know, a lot of times you're visiting gyms and you don't really know people and it can quite easily become a battle. You know, let's start at 30% or some bullshit like that they're going to tell you. And then it ends up being a whole fucking championship world's match. But, you know, I just feel like um, it's good when you have friends because it's very it's much more rare for it to get into a more of a heated role it's always controlled it's always fun and you know uh it's still challenging because you know if you have competitive friends i mean if they're in jujitsu and they stay there to begin with you're probably competitive so you know and it's no surprise to me that my friend here arthur was one of the ones that did stay i knew when i brought him and showed him the power of jujitsu it would really resonate with him and i'm i'm super glad it did um, he's come a long way. He's actually a, a judo player as well um, And that's kind of what you see us laughing about at the beginning of the film I basically walked up to him very casually and forgot he could throw me pretty easily So it's you know, there's always stuff to learn. Everybody has their own path and you know, there's gonna come in time where You know, I'm gonna have to pick apart his brain for the things that he's developed in his path and you know his judo journey has been fought longer than mine you know what i mean but um i haven't taken any formal judo i just i just throw people <laughs> anyways uh yeah that's my rant um thanks for listening i'm still getting used to kind of talking to people and stuff but yeah anyways yeah man hold it down see you guys on the next one